future, man will create complicated machines, mechanical beings called robots that will function like servants, performing the drudgery work, thus freeing people to lead lives of leisure. Humans will always have to be on guard, lest these machines become so intelligent they escape human control and become maniacal masters. Yeah, they escaped all right. Escaped into the real world. To do the hard work. The dirty work. The dangerous work. And some of the coolest ones are running around Sandia National Laboratory's robotic vehicle range, the RVR. A 320-acre robot training ground in the high desert of New Mexico. As for freeing people to lead lives of leisure, how about freeing people to actually live? Because that's what robots do best save lives by doing things people can't or shouldn't do for their own safety. Take, for example, a Sandia robot nicknamed Mighty Mouse, or M2. This particular robot got that nickname after, well, saving the day. We got the call and it went something like this. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to save White Sands. M2 was the last hope in preventing permanent closure of an important test facility at White Sands Missile Range. If M2 could not release a highly radioactive 15 kilocurie chunk of cobalt-60 stuck in a pneumatic tube so it could slide back into its shielded containment area, the test facility would have to be surrounded in concrete indefinitely. The non-radiation hardened M2 had to contend with gamma rays of such intensity that fatal exposure for humans would occur in less than one minute. On day two of the mission, there was a serious problem and it looked like the mission might have to be scrubbed. M2 wouldn't boot up. The most obvious conclusion? Radiation. And so began some serious troubleshooting. Turns out it wasn't radiation that disabled the robot. It was rabbits. Yep, rabbits. The wily wascals chewed through M2's Kevlar-coated fiber optic tether during the night. In the end, M2 survived assaults by radiation and rabbits and, along with its highly skilled team of RBR robot wranglers and its arsenal of specially adapted off-the-shelf power tools, restored the test facility to a safe and operable condition. But M2 is just one success story of many that have rolled and flown or even swam out of Sandia's robotic vehicle range. A branch of Sandia National Laboratory's Intelligence Systems, Robotics and Cybernetics Program, or ISRC, the Mobile Robotics Department at the Robotic Vehicle Range develops and fabricates advanced mobile robotic systems. But now, the RVR is more than just the great robotic vehicles we designed and built in the early days of mobile robotics. Now our focus is on integrating technologies that enable intelligence and maneuverability to do surveillance and reconnaissance, accident response, environmental sensing, weapons delivery, and security monitoring. We're also improving the human-robot interface. It's all about innovation at the robotic vehicle range, coming up with new ways to solve increasingly complex problems and developing new technologies, like handling hazardous material, and detecting danger, such as landmines or improvised explosive devices, sometimes at the expense of the robots to save human lives. But that's not the only way robots can help war fighters. They can also provide battlefield surveillance and protection. In security situations, robots can confront the danger while humans remain out of harm's way. This robotic intelligence is a confluence of advanced technologies in engineering design, modeling and simulation, artificial intelligence, perception, communication, embedded computing, 
materials, power sources, and control theory. The mobile robotics department staff are masters at integrating all these technologies to rapidly engineer prototypes for both national security and industrial partners. And it all happens here at the Robotic Vehicle Range, a unique test facility at the base of the Manzano Mountains where the climate is comfortable year-round with low precipitation, low humidity, and lots of sunshine. The robots can be put through their paces and agility challenged in realistic test environments with a wide variety of surfaces. Like improved dirt tracks, unimproved dirt trails, graveled areas, rock basins, water hazards, and regular urban asphalt. The complex includes support facilities, two high bay labs, an automotive garage, a machine shop, a communication and observation tower, storage buildings, and multiple assembly and test labs all linked with conferencing and networking capabilities. Intelligent mobile robotic systems are recognized critical resources in both the government and private sector, and the RVR is making them more intelligent and more adaptive. As part of Sandia National Laboratories, few organizations can match the RVR for depth of advanced scientific resources, expertise, and research in robotic behaviors, such as self-direction, cooperative operations, morphological self-assembly, self-learning, fault tolerance, navigation, and distributed cooperative control. In addition, leading-edge R&D is underway at the RVR in microsystems, autonomy, dynamic environments, sensors, power systems, modeling and simulation, embedded computing, perception, control theory, and materials technologies. With such a powerful synergy of resources, the mobile robotics department can develop unique solutions for highly specialized applications, as they've done for a number of customers, like the Technical Support Working Group, international organizations, such as the United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense, and the many agencies within the U.S. Departments of Energy and Defense. Sandia's robotic vehicle range is at the forefront of innovation for practical robotic systems and applications. As a trusted advisor to government agencies and a leading partner with industry, the RVR provides a full spectrum of research, development, and application of mobile robots to solve the three Ds, the dull, the dirty, and the dangerous. So, if this is what people used to think robots would look like and do, and this is what they really look like and do, Imagine how the momentum of innovation at Sandia National Laboratory's robotic vehicle range will define robotic technology of the future. <laughs>